<coughs> there are uh, several ways to uh, upgrade the cows. One is by immediately when we switch from uh, chemical uh, fodder to organic fodder, there will be increase in yield by two ten percent. This are, I have personally this, uh, done this on my farm, so I am saying this. And the personal did, and the witness also. Then, if you feed leaves of plants like uh, alfalfa, alfa. no, that's that's a legumina. Plant drumstick uh, leaves or drumstick, mulberry leaves, a tree in uh, Maharashtra, Konkan, in uh, Marathwada, there is a tree called anjan. So if you feed that leaves, even this uh, jujube, bear, yeah, bear. Even that leaves can be fed to the cows, uh, oh. and, and you can, uh, and some varieties of bamboo leaves that can be fed yeah, to the bamboo. cows. Yeah, it's really, you know. So that will help to increase the milk. Then there is another way of uh, like feed, feeding the cows with certain kilograms of either beetroot or turnip or uh, sweet potato, carrot, or all together and carrot but pregnant cows should not be fed carrot otherwise they will have miscarriage then there is another uh, there is one algae called uh, azola okay. if you feed that algae it looks like a lotus leaves and within a small amount of water you can get good production limited space more production so every day you can feed some um, quantity so then and all these items all these herbs and leaves and increases the yield by 15-20% each. This, this has been recorded by different universities, different uh, research and different NGOs in different parts of the world, not just in India. Then there are galactogenous herbs. I could find out around 115. 70 does grow in India. And 50 are available, uh, herbs are available in my shop. But that dose is minimum morning and evening all together not more than 25 to 40 gram maximum that increases the yield by 25 30 percent then there's another different way of farming called aganihotra which is very popular in the south southern south america yeah. and in different parts of world unfortunately not very much in india so if you after doing aganihotra the ash that remains that can be put in the water for uh, for around 12 hours and that water is uh, fed to the cows or if that ash is mixed with the fodder then it has been recorded certified by the agriculture department of peru in south america that milk increases by around more than 50 percent in some instances even 100 percent recorded they have given this on the this on the net Agnihotra.org, if you go, there is one in agriculture, there is one instance, there is, they said a person had 17 cows and their average milk was 35 liters, even there, 17 means 2 liters. Then after, they started uh, feeding this Agnihotra ash and mixing it with, with water. So the water had this content of Agnihotra ash. And after 3 months, they had 18 cows, one more was born. And then within three months, their milk from 35 liters increased to 70 liters. So that is almost 100% increase. Yeah, yeah. Whatever I have spoken about increase in percentage, I have given lesser figure. Actually, it's more. But let's count. We, we do all these things. And let's accept the minimum. Let's count the most minimum. Then after feeding and doing all these things combined, a cow is giving as on today 3 liters of milk after calving, just immediately giving a birth. If we feed all this after 15-20 days, milk will at least increase from 3 liters to 4.5. Then that calf, either male or female, should be fed milk for at least 8 to 10 months, 220 to 250 days. Then they will become either good breeding bull or good bull or future good milker cow. After until six months, they should not be fed anything other than milk. 
like in humans also after six months and the plus six months yeah but that but we have for, forgotten this uh, animal husbandry traditional and imagine after three months farmers anywhere in the world they just don't give feed any milk they just give grass what and milk they, they don't mother's milk has no replacement even if we best quality organic fodder if we give still there is no replacement so if we then the calf that is born now after three or four, three and a half or four years then when she gives birth her milk will be at least around seven to eight liters and if we go on like fifth or sixth generation by within 20 years we can upgrade it can at least minimum set 15 70 liters for small breed of cows mm -hmm. and it can go up from 25 to 30 or more for i have to again i repeat the figures that i am indicating are lower so that tomorrow no one should blame anyone or me in particular but if we live in harmony with nature mother cow and bhumi devi can give much more than this yes rest assured have faith if gir cow in brazil they can give 61 liters average 45 so why they can give in india and why british came to loot india and it was being said we have that india milk used to flow like ganges river that is not a mythology or bluff that was a reality oh my God. it's not that only in gujarat or certain part of india cow used to uh, give good milk that's they been argued no cows in orissa and bengal they give less milk but think of people's diet orissa and bengal people are very much fond of bengali sweet rasgulla gula jamun sandesh these are made even today they are made from cow's milk in there now, the other parts that we are making from buffalo milk, but still, say, and every day even poor people had rasgulla, oh. sandesh. So the, the cow you must should give because maximum, as on today, if you make a paneer from one liter, you can get 150, or maximum 200 grams. But count 100 years back, you, because of good fodder, no chemical fertilizer. Cow must be giving more than 300-350 grams of paneer from one liter. They're still in tradition. They like even poor people in Maya, outside Mayapur, there are sweet shops. Even poor people. And if you go to a Puri beach, they're selling. People are eating. The tradition is still remain. So if cows are not giving good milk, then this tradition would not have, not have survived. And what we are being taught by the in schools, colleges, agriculture, universities that Indian cows give only one and a half, two liters of milk, that's pure bluff. Yeah. Hawks. Nothing more than a garbage. <laughs> it's, it's a sad reality because I have confirmed with animal husbandry men. Different parts of India, even small cow will give an average four to five liters of milk. And with average care. In Bengal, they only feed rice grass, which is very deficient in nutrition. And that too also hybrid, not a indigenous from exactly. indigenous. Exactly. Exactly. They will cultivate separately on the fields. Yes. By taking the biotechnological, you know, seedlings, they, they each seedling will be sold biotechnological developed and then they will sell each one like two rupees and all and the farmers are after them because it, it will produce a lot of foliage big foliage but it is not you know so nutritious like our indigenous things yeah. and even let's say in bengal if a cow is giving four to five one some good with good care six seven liter that indigenous deshi small cows as on today by just uh, uh, eating only rice grass that to hybrid not indigenous or a variety of rice just, just think back 50 years 100 years back that even if they were eating cow, this rice grass but that was indigenous and naturally there was more grazing land then yeah. so at that time we can immediately come to a conclusion that it, cow must be giving at least 8 to 10 if not more 8 to 10 liters of milk a day if not more we have systematically destroyed and the data that I will be giving you, there are many photos of breeds of various in various parts of India. The size that hundred years back, the size of that photo, uh, the cow in that photograph, you will be shocked, amazed to see that 
we don't have that cows within 100 years there is so much destruction so when it's mentioned in aini albari a book written by abul fazal a minister in the court of uh, akbar the cow used to give uh, 64 liters of milk a day or there is one more statistics being given that during akbar's time one can get more than 40 liters of milk for 1 rupee or or one can get 9.5 kilo of ghee in 1 rupee so don't shock by this i want you to in, interpret this statement can you can you follow something interpret the statement yeah can you this this says that the i mean the milking is too high like you know in the in terms of at that time and also the fodder which they takes are all indigenous things i think you missed the point i i can repeat there is a lot there is a, there's a large fat content also in the milk. that's uh, 40 liters for 1 rupee mm. or come to 9.5 kg so almost how much four almost 4 liter mm. something more than 4 liter you get 1 kg of ghee yeah. now it takes means 10% almost like it's 25% 20, uh, 25%, 25% fat content yeah And, and nowadays, how much do we have? have in average? See, depending upon how you take care. Personally, I know. Ah, uh, once upon a time, my cow used to. I, I have, used to take 32, 32 liters of milk, and I used to make one kilo. Then, after increasing the good uh, fodder quality, it came down to 22 liters. But then, due to drought, frequent drought in my area, I couldn't do further experiment. So, this is my plan. I want to at least bring down to in future to eight to ten liters within now. X fifty twenty years. As for well this, I live. I don't know. If unless we upgrade in this way, and even one more point, 